happen to good music. You know, in the days when you could feel it, it was almost sexual, sending shivers up your spine. This, I believe, is because songwriters were not restricted by the small music dictatorship which now exists. Let's hope the future holds something better than the present, and let's leave the past alone. The music business is incapable of bringing music to the future, as it sits just waiting to pounce on any third-rate trend, milking it to death, once again putting money where the music is not. I only wish I was born before all the great ideas were used. While I struggle to working around this, the most annoying thing is watching other people succeed through stealing them. I could have been a legend in my own time. I could have sold a lot of records. I could have enjoyed it as well. I could have been a lot of things. One thing I know I am and will always be. I am the greatest. I bumped into this bloke the other day, who we used to know at school. We didn't say hello because he'd had his hair slightly permed and I did all mine shaved off. He was always a bit of a clown. He used to be a hard man, but he did his homework because I knew that one day he'd be going places. I knew I should have asked him there and then. Was he happy now that he finally got there? He goes to bed thinking of ways to fiddle ten more pounds on his expenses. Me? I go to bed thinking of all the reasons why. I am the greatest. We always use other people as the mirror in which we judge ourselves. So we're constantly changing to meet their expectations. Maybe we've forgotten the meaning of the word individual. It's as if everything we do or think is valid for its conformity. Anything fresh or original is hacked out and it's brought down to size. The ability to think for yourself is a liability which labels you as some kind of problem. We wouldn't recognize a new idea if we spat in our face and screamed at our name. Who am I to talk? Who the hell do I think I am? I am, I am the greatest. greatest. Welcome to the wonderful world of show business, a dark and dank place rarely lit by the harsh light of reality. I look around and I see big mouthed rock stars with opinions on everything and answers to nothing. Burnt out old men with money to burn. Bandwagons full of bands, sycophantic fans with no lives of their own. A place where image is king and music's a correlation that I can relate to. I am the greatest. I am greatest I am the greatest